Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and in today's video, we are playing Fred's Serial Company. This is a brand new mascot horror game, and it actually looks pretty interesting. On top of that, the developers actually sent me an email about this game, and they said that they've included something about me in this game, which is a bit strange. But uh, all for it, you know, if they uh, want to include me, I'll see what they've included. Hopefully it's uh, nothing bad. <laughs> But with that said, we're going to be playing Fred's Serial Company today. We're going to be checking out what this game's all about. I always enjoy these mascot horror games if they're done well. So we're going to be seeing if this one's a good one or a bad one. And uh, yeah, I think we'll just dive straight in. We've got this slightly Rick and Morty looking character on the title screen, as you can see, who I assume is Fred, the head of this serial company. So with all that said, let's dive in. Let's meet Fred and uh, yeah, let's see what this game's all about. Okay, your office, last day of work. Right, we can start playing now. So here we go, guys. Wow, the FPS at the top of the screen is uh, kind of erratic, but it is a demo build. This is also on Steam, apparently, so um, I think they're trying to launch the game with this demo. But let's have a look. We've got a note here. Oh, it's cool how it transitions to the notes. I like that. Hi, Madman. Since it's your last day, I'm giving you one of my favorite limited edition Fred Serial Company possessions to remember us by. Of course, if you ever make it out. The Serial Blaster 97. Use it with caution. Come round my office before you leave, and uh, don't worry, I won't try to persuade you to stay. And that's from Yellowhead. That's strange, okay. From Yellowhead. So is this the uh, possession? Oh, wow, yeah, look at this big ass gun. Nice, the Serial Blaster 97. I like that. So that's Pops. We've got a, a spoon there. We've got some money here. I hate my job. Oh, maybe it's our last day in the office, right? Are we like the accountant or something? We've got like money bags everywhere and stacks of cash. So I'm assuming maybe we are the accountant. Something over here, it says July on it. Queen on the 7th, my birthday on the 16th. 31st today, so it's the 31st of July, okay. Sales chart. Serial box revenue, wow, it went up and up and up and up. So this is definitely not a company in turmoil. We've also got a note here. It says, Dear Fred, please accept this letter as formal notification that I am resigning from my position as a sales executive within Fred's serial company. My last day of employment will be the 31st of July. You will return this letter to me and refuse my request, but I assure you, the day I walk out of your company will be the 31st of July. I'll never look back. While I anticipate your efforts to persuade me otherwise, please be aware that my resolve is unwavering and I am committed to leaving your company on the mentioned date. I have no intention of reconsidering. I would like to express my gratitude for the opportunities I have been given during my time at Fred's Serial Company. I have learned valuable skills and gained invaluable experience that will serve me well in my future endeavours. Thank you once again for the opportunity. Sincerely, Madman. Alexander Bowalski. So I'm guessing we're playing as Alexander Bowalski, and this was refused. Fred refused this request. He's obviously our boss. Work hard, not smart. All right, fair enough. Let's go. I think that's everything in this room. Oh, it's locked. Got to find a way out. Maybe we can take the serial blaster out. Yes, here we go. We've got the uh, the gun. We can blast our way out. So we've got to charge it up. I think that's it. Boom. Nice. We blew the door open. Okay, we're out of the office. They locked us in. They didn't want us leaving. I don't know why he's got blood over his hand already. We were known as Madman. I don't know why. They all have these code names. So we're going to Yellowhead's office next. Oh, here's Yellowhead. Looks like a giant baby. Yellowhead says, Oh, I'm so relieved to see you. My entire world is crumbling. Someone has trashed this place and has stolen my precious golden spoon. I wanted to impress Fred in hopes of finally securing the long-awaited promotion. Listen, I don't believe you can escape tonight without my assistance. Please do me one final favour. Help me recover the stolen golden spoon, and I'll do everything in my power to help you escape. I'm pretty sure it was that nasty IT guy. Look there, as the door is open now. Okay. So he wants the golden spoon, we've got to go to IT to get it. We'll just leave him there, he's very happy. He seems to really like spoons, because we've got spoons all over the office here. Look. Pop spoons. What about in here? Anything? Ooh, ammo. Free ammo for the cereal blaster, so we've got three bullets now. 
This is kind of cool so far. It reminds me of that game, My Friendly Neighborhood, which I think is due out quite soon. It's a bit like that game. Fred's Pops. Look at that. So this is the cereal that they sell. Natural and artificial contains caffeine. All right, so it's going to G you up. Ooh, look, we can open that up. Can we get anything from this? Doesn't look like it. Just open it up. Okay. Fair enough. Oh my god! You're dying. Come here. Oh my god. Alright, that was severe. We just blew him to bits. Was that the IT guy? He just came for us, guys. What the heck? Someone crying in there. We need to get into this office. Is this the IT office? No, it's like the coffee shop or something. It says performance review. Do not enter the break room before submitting your daily performance review. One yellow head, two sad man head, three dum dum, four Monica, five dollar man. Oh, six super horror bros. So this is where I am. <laughs> I'm in the game as this little um, like mention on the board. Okay, so yeah, thanks developers for uh, including me there. That's pretty cool. Keep up the good work and remember you can always do better. Okay. So these two names are missing. Does this have any relevance to um, to anything? What's this all about? We've got to put something on here, guys, to get in, I think. Let's go for a little hunt, then. It's so dark. We need a token for this machine. There's Fred, look. Standing ominously above us with his giant spoon. Alright, we're going to go to the warehouse, I suppose. Or, no, actually, IT room. That's where they said to go, right? No! Oh my god, look! Look at this thing. Ah, boom. Didn't last very long. Sorry about that. So the IT person is now dead. What's that? Health? Health restored. I don't think we even needed to do that. We can check the drawers. This is very my friendly neighborhood, guys. It's pretty much the same thing. But I really like that game, so I'm not going to complain. Now we've got a spoon here. We gotta press the code in the right order. Is that done? There's gotta be a code for this, like a combination. Maybe if we look at this. CV personal information blueberry head. We just killed blueberry head. Profile, I'm a hungry learner and user of technology who's willing to dedicate his life and energy to serve Fred in his quest to make the world the yummiest it could be. Fred's cereal company was my favorite growing up and it's now much more than that. Education. Bachelor of Science, Computer Science, University of Fred for the Talented, September 2019 to April 2023. Skills, Software Engineer, JavaScript, Python, Software Development, Working Well Under Pressure, Extras. My favourite Fred cereal flavours are Blueberry Balls, Banana Donut, and Anarsis Chunks. Oh, is this the code then? So, this should be the colour combination that we need, I think. Let's try it. Um, is it yellow, then blue? Hey! Yes, yeah, like orange, yellow, blue. Okay. We can take that now. We've got the golden spoon box, so let's head on back. Ooh, what's in here? Blood. Guys, this doesn't look very good, does it? This is not a good start. Is that a note we can pick up? No? Oh, hello! That was kind of freaky. Are you going to come out and get us now? They're just in the toilet. What the heck? I thought they were going to attack us. But no. Just taking a poop, I guess. That was kind of scary. There's a note here. Sad man's daughter. Dear daddy, I know that you missed my birthday party for a good reason. Don't be sad. I still love you and I'll always love you. I'm nine now. I hope to see you before I'm ten. I miss you a lot. Every day I start my day with Fred's cereal and think about you. Dear Uncle Fred, if you read this message too, please change my daddy's name from Sad Man to Happy Man. I don't want him to be sad anymore. I love you too, Uncle Fred. You make the best cereal in the whole world. So he was well liked, this, uh, this Fred character. Our signature taste began as a kitchen mistake, but we kept it going and it became our trademark. 
Okay, I guess we go back upstairs then and we give the spoon to this person over here. Now we've checked out the downstairs area. Yellow heads. All right. Here is your spoon, the pop spoon. Thanks, it's my turn to help you. You will likely need to make your escape through the warehouse vents. Okay. In order to gain access into the warehouse, you will require Sadman's full cooperation. I spotted him in the break room. Here's your daily performance review. I've done my best to imitate your handwriting. Fred won't suspect a thing. One last thing, we're in lockdown because of you, so don't be surprised if everybody hates you. Yet we already ran into a bunch, we had to kill them. Sorry about that. So here's our performance review. We've got that. So I'm guessing we have to put the performance review down stairs, maybe? Like maybe on that little uh, plate? See if this works. All right. Performance review in hand. Place it down here. Nice. Hit that little switch. There we go. Works. Awesome. So we have submitted our performance review now. As Super Horror Bro, we're all good. And now we're going to approach this guy. Are you going to attack us, my guy? Hey there, sad man. Why are you crying, man? Can I speak to you? I just tried to leave through the warehouse door, but Fred got angry at me. I didn't know we were under lockdown, and I tried to explain this to Fred, but he didn't give me a chance. Why are we under lockdown? I'm a disappointment to our whole team. Monica won't even look at me or help me. Please take my insurance card from the table and get the medical kit. Okay. Um, he's just crying. We need to take this then. Got the medical card. Awesome. It says no on the table. So who's this then? Hello. Oh my god, she wants to attack us. Uh, boom. Sorry about that. Were you Monica? Didn't get to know you very well. A fridge here. Oh, we can take some health. Can we take anything else? No? I want ammo, guys. We have no ammo now. What's this all about? Oh, we can hide in here if we need to. Anyway, we've got the uh, medical card, guys, so let's head out here. There's a medical station here, so I'm guessing we use the card on this. Here we go. For all your medical use. Got a medikit. Nice. So, now what? Now what happens? Maybe we just return to Sadman. Oh! Wait, what the heck? He's been killed. Who did this? Can we take the head? Yeah, we got the sad man head. Oh my god, what the heck is that? I'm hiding, I'm hiding, I'm hiding, I'm hiding. Oh my god, guys, it's, it's Fred, the manager. I haven't got any ammo, so I had to hide. I don't know if we need to kill Fred or if we just stay hidden, maybe? Either way, I have got nothing to attack him with, so, you know, it's pretty much uh, GG if he sees us. Is he gone? Guys, I think he might have gone. Are we okay? Man, I don't know if he's on the prowl now. What's this all about? You're part of my family. He takes this place way too seriously. No one can ever leave once they've joined. So now I guess we need to uh, figure out how to get into the warehouse. Maybe? We've got a head for some reason. Let's examine the head. The only face that can open the warehouse door. Oh, so we need this to get into the warehouse. But how do we know what the numbers are for these things? Yeah, we turn these switches and it puts numbers in, but like, how are we meant to know what numbers we need? Oh, four and seven. Red is four and seven is blue. It's four and seven, guys. Okay, so this one will be four, like on the board. 
I think. And this one will be seven. Has that worked? No. My theory is wrong. Wait, is it the dice? That's got four on it. That's a blue dice. And that's got six on it. That's a red dice. Ah, oh, okay. If it's that, guys, I've been walking around for ages. Let's try six on this one. And four on the blue. I was obviously overthinking it with that board of names. I think this is probably right, though. Yes, we got it. Okay. That's really, really obtuse, that puzzle. <laughs> but at least it means that it came in useful, right? Like opening that thing up. I did wonder about it. All right. So now we need to find the head of Sad Man. Thank you, Sad Man, for your, uh, your head. Ugh. I was going to put this down here. You're putting your head to good use. That's using your head, right? A dum -tsh. Oh, dad joke. All right. So that's secured. Now what do we do? Oh, it's open. Now we can go through. And we actually have a skeleton in here. Wow. A very realistic looking skeleton. It kind of clashes with the rest of the art style there. Let's go in. What's this thing? We've got a gun. The heck? We can fire it. Nice. What are we meant to do? Can we shoot this? Yeah. Oh, he's... Oh my god, Fred. Fred, Fred. <laughs> Okay, Fred came for us. Fred was like, you're not leaving my cereal company. At least we don't have to start from the beginning of a level, though. So what are we meant to do, then? Get on the gun and shoot stuff? There's, like, hardly any visibility here, guys. Do we just shoot him? Ah! It's so hard to see. All right, let's try this again. So we get on the gun... I think we have to shoot the barrels. I can see one there. So maybe shoot this one. Then shoot this one. Yeah, it slows him down a little bit. Oh, there's one here. And there's one here. Nice. He fell down. <laughs> we blew up Fred, guys. That's actually funny. He tripped over. Just grazed his chin, probably. I'm sure he'll be back. To be continued, and we just fell down somewhere. I don't know. That was a very abrupt ending. That was okay, actually. That was very My Friendly Neighborhood. Which isn't a bad thing, because that game's awesome and I can't wait for it. I kind of like this game, though. It was different to, like, most other stuff. Like, it was similar to Friendly Neighborhood. But, you know, that game's not even out yet. So, I can't really say it's too similar to too many other things other than that game. And, um, thanks to the developer for a little shout-out there on the board as well. That was fun. It was good, yeah. I think, um, with a little bit of work and maybe tweak it so the puzzles aren't quite so um, cryptic there. I think it could be good. It's definitely fun being able to blast stuff, you know, not always having to hide from everything, but it had a little bit of stealth in there too. And um, art style wise, it's kind of got a, a very particular look. It has a slight hand drawn elements of stuff like Bendy, but also has almost like a Rick and Morty looking aesthetic. It's very strange. But overall, this was actually surprisingly good. So, yeah, guys, if you want to check it out, I will leave a link down below to the demo. You can also wishlist it on Steam if you'd like. I think they're going to make more of this. And if you did enjoy this video, I'd appreciate it if you can leave a like, comment down below, and of course, subscribe for more videos just like this one. And I will see you all on the next one.